Hello and welcome to TVC News. We begin this morning in Kaduna State where President Bola Tinubu has said that contemporary and emerging security threats in the West African sub-region is demanding that members must work together to bring peace to the Lake Chad region. He emphasized the need to adapt strategies and tactics to combat mobile and elusive irregular forces that disregard traditional rules of warfare. The president spoke at the graduation ceremony of 291 senior officers at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jaji. Lupe Asam was there in our report. The event is the graduation ceremony of 291 officers, of course 45, at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College in Jaji, Kaduna State. The arrival of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu signals the commencement of the ceremony. The graduating officers have undergone 49 weeks of leadership and command training, preparing them for tactical and operational level responsibilities. The training, which encompasses various aspects of security and defense, is not exclusive to Nigeria, as officers from 15 allied nations are among the graduates. President Bola Tinubu in his address assures Nigerians that his administration will prioritize and dedicate significant efforts to the provision of sufficient security for all citizens across the country. He spells out his national security objective, saying it will focus on ensuring security, justice and democratic prosperity through the use of state power. The democratic tranquility and prosperity of our nation shall never change. As Commander-in-Chief, I have given myself the following charge to deploy the entire machinery of state power to ensure security of our people. The president believes Nigeria and the neighboring countries in the Lake Chad region must display courage in reforming their military doctrines and practices. He emphasizes that a change in tactics has become necessary because the countries in the region are battling asymmetry threats that disregard established rules of warfare. We must also be brave enough to reform military doctrine and practice. We contend against mobile elusive irregular forces that disdain the normal rule of warfare. This shall require a change in mindset, in strategy, in tactics, in equipment, and in gear. Awards are given to participants who distinguish themselves in the course of the training. With the newly trained officers ready to take on their new responsibilities, it is hoped that Africa will forge a united front in confronting the security challenges facing the region and foster lasting peace. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna. Also, Speaker of East African Legislative Assembly, Joseph Ntakiru Timana, is warning Parliament in Africa against laws that inhibit the continent culture and tradition. During a visit to the National Institute of Legislative and Democratic Studies, the speaker called for unity among African nations, advising them to shun Europe's Greek gifts that tend to lower Africa's esteem. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. In November 2006, South Africa became the first African country and the fifth in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. Since then, a number of countries on the continent have followed suit, while the West African sub-region remains adamant to a procedure it says antagonizes its culture and tradition. A delegation of the East African Legislative Assembly is in Nigeria to explore areas of collaboration. It is supported by the Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament. The chief host speaks to the significant role the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies has played towards building the capacity of lawmakers, parliamentary staff, and other policy makers. Abubakar Sulaiman says a national conference to achieve more women inclusion in politics is in the pipeline. This institute is yours. African countries from East Africa, they can learn so much from me. Every other country or MP must have an agency on this issue. We cannot make law on the plant of ignorance. The visiting team is impressed by the contributions of needs to strengthening democracy. We have seen our own, that we have it right here in Nigeria. We can bring in our people, our staff, 
from various legislative bodies across the region in Ella and ECOWAS for proper training. The Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly on his part cautions African countries which embrace financial assistance from foreign donors. He says Africa must remain conscious of laws such as homosexuality that oppose its cultures and tradition. We have our one of our member of EEC one month ago they voted against homosexuality. But look at what he's facing. As Africans, we have to be voting laws which are good for our people. Nate says it is set to commence an advanced executive education program that will bring scholars from across the globe to Nigeria, thereby saving foreign exchange. Joke Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.